Hi, hi, hi! Welcome to my garden channel. Uh, today, I'm actually starting my channel. Um, forgive me, I'm not too experienced with this whole YouTube thing, but I figured I would show everyone a collection of all of my seeds, and maybe you guys can comment some things and give me some tips and tricks for growing for 2023. But let's not talk too much. Today, I thought. Let me share with everyone who enjoys planting and gardening all of my seeds. And um, first of all, we've got some onion seeds. And a lot of you might notice that they're actually from Baker Creek. Um, this is 2022, December of 2022, and it's the first time I've actually gotten these seeds. And um, I think in the description of my channel, it says it's the first time I purchased my my first purchase of a home and I've got a significant big yard uh, maybe I can do another video and show you guys in that one but um, I've always wanted to have a garden and I think this is the best time to start so I'm preparing with all of my seed purchases and I've been watching some people on um, YouTube like James Prigioni, Prigioni. I don't know, some of you guys might know him. Um, and he's got a great, great garden. So that's kind of what I want to do. But um, I've got my onion seeds. Let me know if you like these. They're the yellow sweet Spanish. I've got tomatoes, Blue Beauty. It's also from Baker Creek. Um, I, what I liked about Baker Creek is I actually ordered a bit of seeds and they sent me some free seeds. I'm not sure exactly after how many dollars they send you free seeds, but that was a bonus. So what I spent, I think at one point I spent 30 bucks and I might have gotten like 6 to 10 packets. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I don't remember, but I didn't think it was that bad. Um, given that I got free seeds. So I'm excited about these because um, I like cucumbers actually. So thank you for your order. Thank you, Baker Creek. I've got some peas. Um, the other day I was watching a YouTube a person and she said that maybe I should plant peas right on the ground rather than growing indoors so if somebody can let me know if that's accurate or I should grow them outdoors or versus indoors I'm planning to start early so um, I've got maybe two more months or three months until I start growing these um, I've got a cauliflower I don't know if this will do I'm in Illinois Chicago hi <laughs> so we get pretty cold and our summers aren't that long and winters are too long and eh, well, whatever, you know. I've got the jade bean. I don't know if I'm too excited. I've never, you know, grown this. Not that I've grown anything else before, but um, I don't cook this a lot, but I got it because I want to, so we'll see. Salary. I'm actually a little bit scared about celery because it looks very green and here in Illinois I'm not sure if I'll be able to grow this very well so this is kind of an intimidating vegetable for me um, just because of our season here so we'll see how it goes I also got burpee tomatoes and other seeds as a matter of fact so here's some Rutgers and if you guys see any seeds that you really like and you've grown, let me know what you think. If it was tough and resistant or great yields or you wouldn't get it again or whatever it is, just let me know because like I said, I'm a first time gardener and I'm so excited about all of this. Um, let me know if I should do shades or something didn't work out. Anyways, you, you understand what I'm saying. Um, I got dill. I really like dill with... Um, cucumbers and some uh, what is it sauce I can't remember the name of the sauce but I really like a salad that I do with dill and cucumbers so I'm excited for this one I've got the sweetie you guys know that in the summer these little bad boys get really expensive so for everything that I've purchased here 
I've probably got a hundred dollars worth of seeds I'll be banking next summer if everything goes well so 217 for burpees I thought this was a little expensive um, but you know we'll see if we get any good good results I've got some beef steaks that I tried to grow this year actually because we moved into the house in May so I had a little bit of time but they didn't do that great I'm not sure if it, I didn't water enough or what it was I also know that it got some little um, animals and that was bad it killed all of my my plants um, this one says delicious tomato and it's also burpee burpee seed Brandy, wine pink. With tomatoes, I tried to grab everything that I could find that was different, um, just because I want to try for taste and see what I like best. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have enough room for all of these seeds. Maybe I'll just plant one plant of each and see how that goes. Um, burpee seeds, carrots. Now chilies I grew this year, and I did habanero, jalapeno, chilokian, um, ghost pepper. I did a small one that I'll show you the seeds, and I don't know what the name is, but um, peppers did great this year for me here in Illinois, kind of the burbs of Chicago. Hi. Um, the eggplant, I really like uh, the eggplants, and I'm excited for the big eggplant. I think this is the Black Beauty, this is the big one, I think. Watermelon, so I started some watermelons, and they did not do well. I don't know if it was my dirt, or if it was too dry, and the little seedling kind of died, or if it was because I planted it. I started it indoors um, this year and I think it maybe went into shock, but I did do the hardening, so I'm not sure what happened. I'm really excited for the tongue beans, dragon tongue beans um, from Baker Creek. I've heard really good things. I've gotten some really good comments about these that I've read, and um, look at them. They just look, they look cool, so I'm excited. Um, cabbage. I don't know. We'll do, we'll see what we do with cabbage. You can hear me starting a little bit. Um, first of all, I, my native language is Spanish, so English is my second language. So sometimes if it doesn't make sense, then you know why, but I'm also a little bit nervous. So bear with me. Got bell peppers. I love bell peppers. I love me some um, fajitas. We'll make some fajitas with these next year. Greek pepperoncini. My husband loves this thing pickled, so we'll attempt to pickle it if it grows and when it grows and when we harvest, if we harvest. The radish, we make some killer tacos and we add radishes and um, we can't not have radishes if we can grow them. So excited for the radishes. Onions again. From back roots to the back to the roots. I don't know, we'll see how these go, but we like onions too. Roman tomatoes. So if you guys want to really know how much I spend on all of these seeds, let me know. Give me a comment. I have not counted so far. I'm only guesstimating it's about a hundred bucks. But um I think maybe that's what I should do. I should count how much it is for all of these seeds because it's a lot. So here we go. Roma. Oh, we're still not done yet. Let me know if you have a bigger collection of seeds and what do you have that I don't have. Spring burples. I think these are the, the long ones that you find, like the English cucumbers. And if it is, I'm not sure if it is but that's what I was looking to get English cucumber seeds um, let me know if you think this is the one because I, I really wanted to get some of those seeds so I, I think it is we'll see so I did two purchases of Baker Creek I did one in November and I did one now in December and for the second one I got a free seed of uh, Merlot lettuce 
I've never seen this lettuce, I don't think. I don't think I use it a lot. Um, I'm not sure if we will have the right growing conditions. Um, again, due to the weather, the summer, you know, how hot it is and stuff like that. I just don't know. It's, again, the first time I'm growing this, but maybe I'll try one or two seeds of these. The asparagus. We love, love, love asparagus. The only issue I'm having thinking right now where I'm going to plant these is where I will plant these in my garden. Um, like I said, I think I have a pretty big yard. Um, it has a lot of work that needs to be done to it, but um, even though it's, I think it has a lot of room, I don't know if I will have all of the room that I need, you know. Um, again, it's still a work in progress, and maybe I'll show you on the next video what it looks like before summer and spring hits. So that you guys see how it transforms. But yeah, I'm, we're we're excited for these. Broccoli, we also love broccoli, especially some pasta with broccoli and um, cheese. What is the cheese that we use on this thing? When we make pasta, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But it's a really good pasta that I make, and I'm not just saying that. Squash, zucchini, gray. We'll plant these. We also use these a lot. Um, since I'm from Mexico, we use these a lot for, for our food. So this is obviously one that we have to have. And the flowers we actually use too to make quesadillas. So we got to have as many of these as we can. Golden Acre, also from Baker Creek. Thank you, Baker Creek, for the little gifts that you gave me. So I'm excited. We'll see how this goes. Butternut, uh, wall thumb squash. So maybe out of all the squashes, I plan to plant one plant um, because I feel like I have a lot of squash actually. So this one is interesting. This is a uh, Benhushi, and I'm not sure what it is. Is it is it a lettuce? Let me know how you use it, what recipes you make. I'll have to look it up, but I've never used this or seen this. So this was this was interesting. I think this is this one and the Merlot lettuce are the most interesting ones that I think I have in my collection. The other thing I've heard from people is that seeds go bad, and I'm not really sure. I mean, sometimes, you know, if you if the world crashes and you have a stash of seeds, will it grow? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Corn, I also got corn. I don't know. We make tamales, so I'm planning that with the fresh corn, we'll be able to make some special tamales that we make in Mexico. They're kind of sweet. I don't know what the name is. If you know what the name is, remind me, because I, I was brought up here in the US, but I'm still Mexican, so that's for that. Okay, okay, maybe I lied. This is the most interesting seed bag that I have. This is a melon, Kajari melon. And just look at look at the picture. Isn't that cool? I don't know, can you guys see it okay? We'll just But I thought I thought those colors were amazing. We'll see how it does. I'll plant one plant and see if it grows. These are also up there with the um concern part for growing these. I've seen these pretty tall and I'm not sure if I will be able to care for these. So give me any tips. I do love the Brussels sprouts. I really like them with bacon. So hopefully you get to grow some of these. I know that you're supposed to harvest after the first frost. So I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. You're here for the ride, right? Me too. The golden zucchini, again, I have a lot of squash. I mentioned that to you guys, also from Baker Creek. The China Jade. I think my other one, the one that I told you I thought was English cucumber, I had purchased before and I didn't realize I had that one. So I ordered this one thinking it was also the English cucumber, but um, I, I didn't remember. So I'm not sure what I have now. But hopefully one of those is, resembles the English cucumber. Let me know if you've planted both and which one you think is closest to the English cucumber. 
or what I know is the English cucumber that you sell on the stores or you get on the stores wrapped in a little bag. More beans, contender beans, Baker Creek. I don't know if I can go wrong with Baker Creek, but everything I've heard is great, so Baker Creek. And nobody is paying me to say that, honestly, nobody is. The Rosita eggplant, I saw this also from Jace, James Pregioni, Pregioni, I don't know, you guys know him. Um, so he always says the Rosita, so just because of the name I had to get it, and here it is. Pronounce that word with me, Charentace, Charentice, I don't know, it's a melon. I'm also planning to just do one plant of these because I don't know how much how much room they'll need. So here we go. And then, um, no, we're not we're not done. I've got more peas. I've got more squashes. Bunching onions or the green little onions. Rosemary, because I also need some herbs. Herbs, herbs. You see, that's where that's where I say the Mexican comes out. <laughs> I got some hollyhocks. I planted one last year, this year, and it just grew. It just um, did foliage and didn't do anything. So um, it does say it's a biennial. So next year, hopefully, I get some some flowers. But I have that. Um, I couldn't not get any sunflowers, so I'm excited for these because I think these are beautiful when they grow and they reach out to the sun and you can see them from far away and they're really tall. What's not to love about them? Um, carnations, I grew some of these this year and I, nothing, I didn't get anything, so I'm not sure if I'll do this again this year. Maybe I had the wrong thumb. morning glories um, they were about to take over a piece of my garden area that I de-weeded um, I don't know if I will be planting this again I think most everyone knows that morning glory blooms in the morning by the afternoon they're kind of done so I I don't think I'll do this again for some time also the morning glory this one i didn't open and uh, i'm not quite sure if i'll plant anything but i have it the butterfly weeds so my intention was to get more butterflies around my garden this year i planted some but it didn't do anything and it didn't grow i'm not sure what i did um i think i'll try to grow it again indoors and see how we do it this time Oh my goodness, Canter, Canterbury Bells. I absolutely love these. I grew one of these back in 2007 and I remember and it was just beautiful. It was white and ever since then I wanted to get them and I didn't know the name, but I saw them in the picture and I said, these are the ones I've been in love with. And um, I planted some this year, but it didn't do anything. So we'll give it another try in 2023 and see how that goes. The snapdragons, I planted a lot of plants and I only got one. So, I mean, at least I got something, right? But it didn't do a lot for me. We'll try again this year. Um, got cilantro, more herbs or cooking stuff. Basil, I planted some basil last year and it didn't do anything. Um, it died as a seedling, so I'll give it another try. We'll see. And finally, my, my cantaloupe melons. And then I've also got a whole bunch of other seeds, believe it or not. I've got some zinnias in a bag and I collected these whenever I went to um, attractions around here in Illinois and I saw the plants and I saw they were dry so I took them uh, because I just thought they were beautiful and I hope that I get these to my garden so these are seeds from my adventures 
these are some chili seeds. I'm not sure what the name of the chili is, but it did great. It was a great producer, one plant, and I had a ton of these little chilies. It's like a pepin or pekin chile. I don't know, so you guys can tell me what you think. And then uh, marigold seeds. Some tiny other seeds that I don't know what they are, but we will see. I, I, I'll have to remember what I I can remember the plant, but I can't remember the name. Um, so I got a whole bunch of other stuff. Sorry about that. And I'm saving my seeds in these little cute gift cards from Amazon things. So here they are. And I've got the Baker Creek heirloom seeds kind of like the normal one but it's it was really good it's got a lot of great things so if you can get it I advise you to get this um, okay so that was it I know it wasn't too great but again it's my first video hope you guys enjoyed it and I don't know if I taught you anything but I hope I can teach you something in the future just give me a break um, and we'll see so if you stick along with me that was my husband if you stick along with me, maybe we'll grow something, learn something. Who knows, maybe in three years we'll be at a better place. So, thanks for sticking around and I'll see you next time. Bye!